More than a half a dozen bullets hit one vehicle. Three people inside were hit. In the moments after, it remained a very dangerous scene, but that didn't stop a couple of Marines from jumping into action. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick is leading the way for us tonight, talking with one of those Marines tonight in an interview you will see only on WLWT. Brian. Yeah, well, the victims were all transported here to University Hospital. The first help they got was from a young married couple who knew exactly what to do. They were both trained by the military. It unfolds like a scene from a war zone. And we saw a lot of blood as soon as we pulled up. Guy was hanging off the back of the car. They said, we've been shot. Three shot. They were pretty scared. And the first to respond to the center of the danger, a pair of Marine veterans. Charles Collins talking for the first time. So we instantly knew we had to do something. Now. And his wife, Tabitha Beebe. We're trained to assess the scene. We're, we're trained to help others when they need to be helped. The couple stopped when they saw a man flagging them down on South 75 near the Ezert Charles exit. Police say another car pulled alongside of the men and opened fire with an assault rifle. At least eight bullet holes were found, but no one knows what sparked the shooting. It's an outrageous act, absolutely outrageous. Obviously, somebody that has, you know, absolutely no respect for, for human life. BB and Collins met when they were both in the Marine Corps. All they knew is someone needed their help. Are you concerned maybe somebody might come back and start oh, shooting again? Definitely. I mean, definitely we, we, we wanted to make sure that we were safe. That was, you know, make sure me and my wife were taken care of, you know. Well, there was a few cars in front of us that didn't stop and everything. I, I just, I wouldn't want to be that person. Police are still searching for the vehicle used in the crime and the shooter left three people wounded and put everyone on the highway in the vicinity in danger. Investigators are still trying to figure out how this all started. They're looking at security cameras from a gas station where the men had stopped earlier and also from Artemis. Meanwhile, uh, the men are recovering here at University Hospital. The worst has uh, serious injuries. He's listed in critical condition. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick. WLWT News 5. All right, Brian, thank you. Police believe there was a fourth man in the victim's car, but they believe he took off before officers arrived.